All right, today we're going to be changing the fuel pump on this RSX Type S, year 2002. Uh, I guess it'll be a tutorial, step-by-step -step tutorial, sort of. If you need to change your fuel pump, I think this will work for any of the RSX, so yes. All right, so the fuel pump is actually in the back seat, underneath the back seats, just like most of the Hondas. Or should I say, we got to see that already. <laughs> Uh, basically it just pops out of these things pop it up like this, but before you do that you got to unscrew one Bolt that's a 10 millimeter the seats right there So you can stick your wrench right here and get to it So after you get that off and you get the back seat off then you're gonna take this plate off which has four screws They go one two three four And once you get those off you pry this over Try this off slowly, but be careful. There's little um, uh, indentions here that go inside this thing. But anyways, uh, and then you're gonna have a. That's where the, your fuel pump is. And you're gonna have a plug right here. It plugs right in there. You take that out. Then you take this out. So you just have to kind of push it together like this, and you can get. And this slides right out. This is the uh, feed tube to the engine, the pressure tube, should I say? You're gonna have pressure in this line. And uh, if your gas tank is sealed really good, like this one was, it'll it's gonna keep siphoning out of here. It won't stop leaking. So the way to fix that, you just need to open your gas cap outside. Anyway, once you get that out, the hard part is actually is the next step. There's this huge nut that goes all the way around this thing, and it's kind of hard to break. So what we did, basically, get it going. There's two of us, so we couldn't even turn and do anything. So I started hitting it with a wrench. Or with the ratchet, and it, and we saw it moving, so we knew it was gonna move. I kind of took the screwdriver here, and I just pried it like this, while Alex was helping me turn it. And it actually went went, and then after that, we just kind of just pushed it on the screwdriver with two screwdrivers on the opposite side, and it went pretty good. So that's how you get that off. So next, well, I guess go ahead and take yeah. that off. That's what the nut looks like. All right, so you want to get this out of the way so you don't get it dirty. And uh, next thing you want to do is clean this cap off because it was really dirty. I figured maybe that'll do the justice. Turn on the sucker. <laughs> okay, once you get this thing pretty clean where there's not too much dirt in there, I guess you can just pull it up now. Let's see. Is that what happens? Well, I think we have to break it loose. Okay, go ahead. Let's see if I can break it loose. I think it's just stuck on there. Yeah, there it goes. So you just pry it up. I get, oh, okay, there's a rubber. Yeah. A rubber gasket there. All right, here it comes. If I can get it out, I don't know. It's like this huge thing. There it goes. Wow. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, honestly. It's and huge. There's the gas. Hold on, there's something else stuck in there. It's like a little float or something. See it? Like on the bottom? Yeah. If we go out and then go sideways right away. Oh, uh, okay. Because there's a floaty right there. Yeah, that's a floaty. The, uh... Yeah, that's a floaty. I guess that's the gauge, yeah, for the gas. Man, where is the pump itself? Somewhere it's in inside. that. It's in the plastic, yeah. Man, they make these new cars so weird. The old ones are so easy. What, they're just right in there? Yeah, it's just the whole thing is just right in the water, that thing. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we got the pump outside, and it's this kind of weird-looking contraption. So I kind of I popped out the uh, this piece from this piece already. It just pops right out. Boom. And I think the pump is in here. I can see it. It's right there. This. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pop it. Pop it off. This bottom piece right here. And this basically just pop these two. Oh from each other um, and what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take this off right here this guy right here it goes down here so now you can get it apart and you're gonna have wires that you're gonna try to pull so you gotta take them out out of their little holders so you can get it apart there it goes it kind of all comes apart just be real careful with the sensors and stuff they don't break anything or damage it. But yep, yeah, there's our pump. We have the goods. 
We got the goods. It's squeaky clean. Patience is key. There it goes. It's just really tight. Break anything. Yeah. yeah. It's all plastic. It feels like you could break something easily. Well, think about it. It was drenched in gas, right? Yeah, it's always drenched in gas, 24/7. Let's try to pull this apart. There it goes. All right. I don't know if you guys it saw just that. flew everywhere. <laughs> this piece right here comes out also. So once you unplug the pump, you can pry that yeah, out the pump very free. carefully. Though there's a gasket right there, sort of. Yeah, there it goes. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Should have done a little more probably, but it's okay. It's Ooh, out. And it flew. All right. So hopefully now this thing will want to come out a lot easier. Okay, I think it's out. Maybe it's fine. there it goes. There we go. Yep. Up and out. Yeah, there was a little bit of resistance right there. But yeah, so you do have so to take that little thing out. That yeah. metal piece. Because it holds the cap. Yeah. Pry it out. Okay, now we should just pull this out, theoretically. Yep. Ooh. And that's it. Now we can put our new one on. Let's see, what does that new one look like? We might have to transfer some pieces from that one. Yeah. I mean, oh, look at this beauty. Fuel systems. Kemzo. That sounds Japanese or Chinese. <laughs> yep, we definitely need some pieces. Uh, done. Beautiful. A little bit longer. Like a tiny bit. Well, that could Maybe actually still resolve. fit in. I don't no, know, dude. Because there's a tight fit, right? It might not clip. Yeah, it was a tight fit. Okay, we're gonna put some oil on here to make it where it could slide in better. I just got some oil from the dipstick. Any oil will do. Yes. Any lubricant. That dissolves in gasoline. <laughs> oh yeah, it goes in real easy now. Nice. I guess that's it. Okay, so here you just have to line this thing up into that hole. Obviously. Let's see. Yep, we got a Houston. The pump is too long. By quite a bit. Well. So what are we going to do? We're going to have to improvise. Alright, we're getting it close to putting it on here. There we go, that's true. Right. There we go, see it fits nicely now. Right into the snug. Let's show the other side. Alright, we had to move inside because it started raining outside. But, after playing around with it for a little while, we got it closed pretty good. Everything seems to fit. It's a little bit longer, you can tell, right here, because it's touching the that piece. But I think it all fits pretty good. Let's uh, put it in the car and see what 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 it does. Oh oh, what's up? What's up? We got the pump in the car. <laughs> We're gonna try to put it in. Let's do this. So if I'm remembering right, this little floaty thing goes in first like this. Yes. Now remember, we had this issue here. We're gonna have to jump a little bit. So we're gonna help it and jump. And then we're gonna go in. And we're gonna make sure all our. Oh wait, does this pop out? Oh, no, right. Then we're gonna make sure all these. Hoses and stuff go in nicely. Right, so after trying to put this thing in and can't figure out why it's too tall, we figured out that it has a spring. See, once you push on it, it goes down. So it's supposed to do that. So once you get it lined up exactly straight, which is pointing to the front, you just push it in there nicely, like this. Of course, make sure your gasket is nice and. You took okay, a little while. You got some oil. We're gonna put it. All around everywhere. Just get a generous amount. Don't worry, it will not hurt your tank gas. Alright guys, so I got the pump inside. Had to fiddle around with the gasket a little bit, but popped it in there and then I put the cap on as I was holding it. So I just started it. So uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to try to tighten it, tighten it, and then push this down as we go. Pushing on each side like that together. When you push together, it works. If you push by yourself, it doesn't work. Kind of crazy, but... Stab you. Anyways, that's what we're doing. 
All right, so we got this thing tightened as much as we could, which it passed the line a little bit right here. Was here, was here, but who knows? Maybe we over tightened a little bit. But in, in any case, pop this on, plug this in, and we're about to see if it works. Ignition time. Okay, so everything's in. I'm gonna turn the ignition and you hopefully will be able to hear this thing. Three, two, one. Yeah, it seems like a lot louder than the original one, so I don't know if it's just a new pump or maybe uh, we have a problem with power, so we're thinking the pump's bad. But yeah, it's a pretty old pump, let's just say that. But after that, you just put this back on like that. Put your little screws in here. Tighten those, and then put your seat back on, put that bolt under there, and you're done. And that's how you change a fuel pump and an R RSX.